the cats make the house feel alive. When we bought this house in 1988, it came with two outdoor, like, feral cats. And then one of them was killed, hit by a car, and then the second one was hit by a car and had to go to the vet for quite a bit of reconstructive surgery. So we made her an indoor cat, and then to get her company, because the other one had been killed, we went to the shelter and adopted a couple cats, and that just started down the road. Cheesecake, chocolate, nutter, butter, crumple, rumple, cookie, poppy seed, kuro, nui, secret, wasabi, coffee bean, donut. So they're all rescues. We adopt them from shelters as far uh, south as San Diego and as far north as San Francisco. We start getting kittens every year. Over time, we are getting more and more. And then when we realize you know, there are so many cats. After a certain point, there's like no turning back. It's like, this is their house and we're living here with them. All the rooms are connected. At night, sometimes at two or three in the morning, they'll start chasing each other on the catwalks and they can go really fast. And it's pretty loud. It does wake us sometimes. Catwalks, I think the first one I built in 1995 actually was this one. For the walk, just the walks, I've probably spent 40 or $50,000. And they can be done a lot cheaper, but the catwalks are for the cats, they're also for me. They're architecturally interesting to me, the colors, and we always try to do something interesting, the shapes. There's spirals, there's uh, bridges, there's arch bridges. A lot of the tunnels have faces on them, and one of my favorites is that in the upstairs bathroom there's a tunnel with a shark, uh, and the carpenters actually made teeth, and when the cats walk through the teeth, they scratch the back of the cat, so the cats like to go back and forth through that. So you can't really feel ever there's 15 cats because they never assemble in one group, and they're very calming. So I like them because when you come home and if you're stressed and you sit down, two or three will come and purr and pet, and it just relaxes you. The koi pond is one of the favorite areas for the cats. They love to watch the fish. They also walk into the koi pond on the rocks and even sometimes put their hands in the water. They've never eaten a fish. So with 15 cats, we have about 22 uh, litter boxes throughout the house. And we put a lot of them in closets uh, where we add uh, ventilating fans that run 24 seven that ventilate outside. So there's negative air pressure, so the smell stays in the closets. Uh, we also have five rumbas in the house that we run almost every day that do a really good job picking up cat hair. And then it's just us picking up after the cats a lot. At first I thought, how can we get rid of these cats? But now I can't think of a single one that I'd want to get rid of. Cookie was the one that we rescued uh, who had been traumatized. And this year, we suddenly found huge tumors on her. Uh, took her to the vet and they said, it's cancer, it's, there's nothing we do. But we did the surgeries. And after two major surgeries, uh, they were all benign. And they had never seen anything like it. So she's fine now. Brings a lot of satisfaction that the idea that we can rescue these cats, you know, you, we can't solve the world's problems, but I can solve this tiny problem for these cats.